What's up you guys, welcome back and welcome if you're new. In today's video, we're gonna have another interior mod. Cool thing about this one that I have right here today, which is from TacomaBeast.com, where it's all about the taco. This one is actually something that will change up the whole interior if you guys add this. So if you guys do add this, it's actually gonna change the interior a lot. You guys will see what I mean when we install mine. So let's go ahead and open this up, get inside the truck and show you guys. Really quick before we get started, I want to show you guys the brand new camera setup. So of course now we got some wireless go to's. Cool thing about these, they have two. So I can have this one hooked up to me and another one hooked up to someone else. While we're recording, say I'm doing an interview or something like that. And of course right here is going to be the new camera setup. So it is on a Joby pod. I forgot which one this one is exactly. And then of course uh, the brand new lens that we have here is going to be the one from Sony. It's an E-mount lens, 10 to 18 f4. It looks awesome. I got this one because it's super Super wide when I'm vlogging or just recording by myself that way I have a nice uh, angle for you guys and then of course right here on top is the Rode uh, mic setup this is kind of like the interface where this connects to this wirelessly because they are wireless mics and then the camera that we do have here is going to be the Sony a6600 uh, it does record in 4k so I'm gonna have to try that out for you guys hopefully the video quality will be a lot better but just to show you guys what we're gonna be recording on so let's get back to the video all right you guys so let me go ahead and show you guys what I meant by this this interior mod will change the interior of your vehicle big time all right so cool thing about this all right so let me go ahead and pull it out so of course like I said this is from TacomaBeast.com so if you guys do end up wanting to get it make sure to check out the description box below because I'll make sure to link it there so I don't know if you can see how clean these things are basically what these are are going to be some center console dashboard uh, inserts so this one here is of course going to go over here on the radio like so it's going to go right over so as you can tell right here right Right now it is like gray so what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be overlaying this it's like kind of blocking it out but cool thing about the one I chose is it's carbon fibers and of course on the driver's side over here there's also another little gray section on this side where the vent is so it's gonna also go over that so cool thing about these bad boys here is they do make them in different colors of course as you guys do know I tried blacking out my whole interior so that's the reason I went with carbon fiber because it is uh, pretty much like a black so it's gonna look really clean in here and it's gonna keep the that blacked out look uh, now if you guys do want like red or just different colors check out the description box below because they do make these in different colors and they're pretty affordable as well and they're super simple to install anybody can literally do this so first things first is you want to go ahead and clean off the surface I would use like alcohol wipes or something like that and that'll just make your life a lot easier and let me open this up just so I have some more space here so I've already cleaned off the surface same thing with this side I've already pulled off my aux beam so everything here is already cleaned up. The better job you do, of course, the better this thing's gonna stay. So you wanna go ahead and flip it to the back side and you're gonna notice a lot of red. That's just double-sided tape and all you need to do is pull off the backings to it and stick it over. It's super simple, nothing hard about it. I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. So now that we pulled off all the backing, as you can tell, now it's all gray. That's just a double-sided tape. So now we're gonna get ready to install it. So as you can tell, there is a cutout here that has to be towards the steering wheel. So we've cleaned off the surface as well. So it's literally gonna slide around right over now if you find this too difficult one thing that you can do to make your life a little bit easier and have a little more leverage get your thumbs just like this pull back on it and this whole thing will release as you guys can tell so that'll kind of make your life maybe a little bit easier put it right over so it shouldn't be too hard so it's literally gonna go right over the gray. And the tip I could give you guys here is do little by little and just kind of give it some firm pressure. Keep it a couple seconds, give it some firm pressure, a couple seconds, and just kind of go work your way all the way around it. Uh, the better you do this, and of course, the better you clean off the surface, the longer this thing is gonna last on there. Just in case one day it does peel off, I'm not saying it will, but if it does, just go ahead and get yourself some double-sided tape, some 3M one, they sell it at any store. And uh, then you can go ahead and redo it. So just in case it does fall. It shouldn't, but just letting you guys know. And now you guys have a clean mic. Uh, damn, that looks cool. A, a nice looking carbon fiber uh, center console here. So to go ahead and reinstall, it's the same way you take it off. Let me go ahead and place my wire before I rip it. So it's that simple, you guys. And snap it back in. Just like that, make sure it clips. Give it another nice, clean, firm pressure. 
any spots you might have missed. And there it is, you guys. So as you guys can tell, now it's almost blacked out, looks super clean, and now I have less gray. Only gray I think I have left now in the truck is gonna be probably this here. So hopefully they make something for that to black that out, and the truck will look good. But once again, they make this in different colors, so if you don't like the carbon fiber look, go ahead and get it in whatever color you want. Let's go ahead and now focus over here. So we're gonna do the last piece. So of course, now all we have left over is gonna be this here, which is gonna go in this gray section here. You could take it off if you want to, um, but this one's easy to access. Just in case you do want to take this off like we did with the center console, your center console has to be removed for this to come off because this whole thing is one piece. Just in case you guys are curious. I'm going to leave it on like I said, so same thing. I'm going to start off on one side, which is going to be there, just so I can center it. I'll push in, get some firm pressure, and then I'll work my way around. Just like that, now at the bottom. All right, now I could go all the way around one more time from pressure. And now I'll put my ox beam back in its place. There it is, as you can tell, now it looks super clean and we're done. So like I was saying, anybody can do this. It's super simple. So if you guys do wanna go ahead and get yours, I'll make sure to link it down in the description box below. I know today's video was super quick, but I just wanted to show you guys how easy this is and how awesome it looks. If you guys want it, description box below, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. See you guys on the next one. Feel free to subscribe